Hi, I'm Cam, and today we're going to be doing pool trick shots. For this first trick, you you will need an eight ball and an eleven ball. The difficulty rating on this trick is four balls out of eight, so beginners might want to move on to the next trick. So to start the trick, you will need to hold your cue stick as a baguette. Carefully align yourself, as shown here, with the 8 ball, roughly 9 o'clock to the left of you. You want to place your knuckles on the table and rotate them so that the stick is facing into the hole. Then, at a moderately fast speed, slide the cue stick into the 8 ball as shown. That was trick number one. See you in the next trick. This next trick is what I like to call six around the dot. It requires six balls placed in a format in shape like I have with one ball roughly two feet away from each corner as shown here. On the other hand, the two balls per the, per the sides should be roughly a foot and a half. To start this trick, you will need to start from one of the sides. I chose the southeast. First, you want to aim for the south the west corner then you want to aim for the southeast corner as shown here be sure to switch hands so that nothing gets in your way next in the same position that you were aim for the east corner. Be sure not to hit the ball facing to the west or else you will mess up the trick. Then still standing where you were. If you've missed any balls so far, try and hit the mark into any of the holes as shown. Next you want to turn around so that you are facing the ball to the, s to the west corner. I mean, I apologize. I meant to the west side. You just want to aim and hit it like any other ball. That's John. Next, you want to aim into the northwest corner and hit the ball. And to top it all off, this is the fun part. You want to place your cue stick as shown and slide it forward. This trick has a difficulty rating of 8 balls out of 8. So if you're not a beginner, it would be best to move on to the next trick as it is going to be a lot easier to start out and we will be covering how to do basic shots. For this next trick, you will need four balls. Specifically, I like to choose the two ball, the ten ball, the four ball, and the twelfth ball, because they're all multiples of two. <laughs> okay, on to the trick. You will need to place the four balls as shown, like a plus sign or a multiplication sign if you stand to the left. Lastly for the trick, you will need both the cue ball and the cue stick. 
be sure to place the cue ball in the middle. Now first, you want to aim the four ball to the north. Next, the cue ball should be at an angle. You want to aim the cue ball to the east-west. Wait, sorry, my apologies. I meant southwest. Next, you want to aim the ten ball to the southeast. And next, you want to aim the twelve ball to the southeast as well. Now that the balls have been aligned, it's ready for the trick shot. This trick shot is especially easy for beginners as it is only two balls out of eight. Let's do the trick. As you will see, the ball should be in random locations. This is part of the trick. First, you will want to shoot the lowest ball out of all the balls that you have at the cue ball. For me, it's the two. Part of the trick is not to miss it, or else you will have failed the trick. Next, you will need to aim the second lowest ball at the cue ball. For me, it's the four, because that comes after the two. Next up, you will need to aim the third lowest at the cue ball. For me, it's the 10. Congratulations, you have now completed the trick. The fourth ball remains unsinking and unshot because it was merely for the setup of the cue ball. This next trick is the hardest of the bunch. It's, it's ranged from eight balls out of eight. It is the hardest of the bunch. So any beginners or intermediate people may like to move on as it, they might be too inexperienced to this trick. To start with this trick, you will need to have placed the one ball to the six ball in an order like I have. Yet it does not have to be in order. It must include the one ball, the two ball, the three ball, the four ball, the five ball, and the six ball. You'll need to start from the six ball aiming into the west hole and you will need to aim all of your balls into the west hole starting with the six ball to the five ball to the four ball to the three ball to the two ball to the one ball i will never give the trick any balls left over. Just be sure to shoot them into any nearby corners that you have. Specifically, I'm shooting mine into the northwest corner. Apologies, I meant the northeast. corner in general is filled up, you will have to find another corner to aim the ball into to compensate, specifically the northwest.
Now that we have completed all of the trick shots, it's now time to move on to the cue stick trick shots. These are going to be the hardest trick shots out of all of the trick shots that we've experienced so far. Ranging from 10 balls out of 8. This first trick is called the wrap around the neck. But in order to complete this trick, you'll need a ball. I'm choosing the one ball because it's the first ball that I found. First, place your ball anywhere on the table, but I'm placing it on the north end in the middle because that's closest to me. Take a step back and be cautious of if there's any walls or other people around you as this next trick is quite dangerous and that we will not be held responsible for any injuries caused. Do this at your own risk, please. But this trick is called the wrap around the neck. First, grip the cue stick like you would when you would firmly hold the baguette. Be sure that your palms are completely connected to the cue stick and that none of your fingers are loose, like this. Then stick it up and reach behind your neck and push on it, but not too hard as this might be a little dangerous. Next, turn so that your cue stick is facing any ball that you are currently using this on. I'm facing the one ball. You might want to kneel or like this so that it's easier to hit. But aim the cue stick at the ball and do any of the holes and be sure to move your arms in a back and forth motion like this, like a train. It's a little tricky, so like I said earlier, if you're a beginner, you might not want to try this. Next, once that you have hit the first ball once, you want to find another location for any of the holes. Kneel down like you have earlier, and simply hit it. If it does not go in, then I am sorry to say that you have failed this cue stick trick shot. Moving on to the next trick shot. This next trick shot is called the short sword, shield, and human. It requires three, three things. One, your cue stick, but as I have titled it in this trick shot, I like to call it the sword. Two, you will need your th number three ball, as you require three items. And next, you will need three. A human as shown. This trick is highly dangerous so once again make sure that there's no walls or tables or people around as we will not be held responsible for any injuries caused during these trick shots. First of all I would like to say that I will not be teaching you how to do the sword part of this trick shot as it is highly dangerous and hard to learn. You can find a video of it on the website YouTube. So first, you would like to grip your cue stick like you would a sword, and first do a cool sword spinning move, as shown here. Next, firmly grip your cue stick with your left hand, as shown here, so that all fingers are touching the cue stick. Release your left hand from the cue stick after walking towards the ball. Pick up the three ball. You're gonna want to stick out your left hand with the three ball in it, so acting like it's a shield. And next, stick out your sword like this and your shield like this, and charge at the ball and hit it. As shown there, it should go straight into the hole, and thus you have completed one of the key trick shots. 
on to the next new trick, sh shall we? Oh, sorry. I didn't know that you were standing there watching me perform my epic pull trick cue shots. But as a matter of, ma matter of fact, this is going to be our final trick. And I'm going to call it Haters on the Haters. This is not a roast or a disc, disc or a burn, but it is in fact a cue stick trick shot. For this trick shot, you will need to find the eight ball. Though I have not yet found it, I'm sure that I will find it soon. Oh, here it is. You should be holding the eight ball with your left hand, as shown here. Firmly grip it with both your index finger, your middle finger, and your thumb. If you want to, you can use your ring finger to keep it in place as well, as shown here. Next. You want to grip your cue stick about two thirds of the way to the heavy base part of it, like this. You'll want to, to move the cue stick back and forth by your hip like this as it's the most stable part of your body and it can move freely. Hold the eight ball in the air, this time with your middle with your ring finger and pinky finger up and start aiming the cue stick towards it. This is going to be the hardest trick out of pulled trick shot. So as this, you should be gripping the eight ball rather loosely as you're going to hit it on the out of the air as shown here. The ball does not need to go into any holes, but if it does, you can get bonus balls from me. This next trick is actually a beginner's trick. So if any beginners are watching this video, then they are free to check this out. What you're going to need for this trick is both the cue stick And the number five ball, as shown here. It's not required to place the number five ball on the very south side of the pool table, but I chose the south side because that's closest to where I am. Start this trick. Firmly grip the pool stick with your left and right hands, but let go of it with your left hand so that the heavier part is suspended in the air to your left. Next, you're going to want to make a gap with your legs and stick the pool stick through. If done properly, it should feel like you're riding a broom, but you're actually riding a cue stick. If you're not high enough, like I am, you may want to step on your tippy toes, and if done properly, the pool stick should be above the pool table and you have successfully prepared for the tip shot. Step towards the cue ball, or any ball, like I am, and make a motion back and forth like this until it hits the five ball at show right now. This trick shot does not require to have any of the balls sunken into the holes as it's mainly just a party trick to show off to your buddies.